Sonic's Green Hills Adventures Season 4 Chapter 8, Meanwhile with Jack and Robotic. Dr. Robotnik's point of view. I was so close to arriving in Green Hills now. By this time tomorrow, the blue pest and every Amy loves will be mine. My newest creation was ready to activate, so I turn it on moments later. My creation's red eyes lit up. Welcome to the world. Now tell me who you are. Ice wanting to make sure that it's fully operational. I'm Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic declared with an intimidating voice. Excellent, Metal Sonic. Soon you will fulfill your purpose. Back at Jack's cell in Halloween Town, Jack just stared as he saw Barrel walking up to his cell. Barrel, what are you doing here? Jack asked out of bewilderment. Then he noticed Barrel had an ashamed look on his face. I... I came to help you. I had no idea OG was going to send your wife and daughter away like he did. I thought he was just going to use them as leverage to force you into giving him the throne. If there is anything I can do to help you, please tell me. Barrel replied fearfully, as he was visibly shaking, and was full of sincerity. I see. And you know what? There is something you can do. Go to Dr. Finkelstein and tell him my family's location. I know they're in Green Hills, Montana, in the human world, but not the one we know. There are three anthropomorphic hedgehogs there. Jack explained seriously, as Barrel wrote it down on a piece of paper he had with him. Barrel asked hopefully. Yes, if you don't already know, find out what Oogie is up to. Also one more thing, if there is a way to get in contact with Sally in Midnight, do it. I just want to let them know I'm alive. Jack replied with a pleading expression on his skull. I'll see what I can do. After all, I can't let the others find out I'm doing this. Well, I'll be back as soon as I can. Barrel said and then he left the room. Then Barrel went straight to Dr. Finkelstein's laboratory and rang the doorbell. Dr. Finkelstein was well on his way with working on the portal machine when he heard his doorbell ring. So he maneuvered his wheelchair to his front door to see Barrel standing there. You, what are you doing here? Dr. Finkelstein asked furiously, for he knew Barrel was partially responsible for Sully and Midnight's disappearance. I have a message from Jack. He see he can come himself because OG threw him into that holy leader cell. With the help of a human met Sandus who makes robots. And look, it turns out that OG didn't tell us all the details of his plans for Sully and Midnight once we captured them. I'm so sorry for what happened and I want to make up for what I did. Barrel said very quickly, with his hands up in defense. Oh really now? What is his message? Dr. Finkelstein asked, for he was intrigued. He found out where they were sent to. It's an alternate art, specifically in Green Hills, Montana. There are three anthropomorphic hedgehogs in that town as well. Barrel replied happily. Well done, Barrel. Thank you for bringing me that message. Now I can finish my part in bringing them home officially. Dr. Finkelstein said for he was overjoyed by this news. No problem, Dr. Finkelstein. And good luck. Barrel said right before he left. Barrel's point of view. After leaving the laboratory, I went straight back to Oji's lair to find out more about his evil plans. When I arrived at the entrance, I could hear the echo of Oji's laughs at chills bouncing off the walls. Then I finally found him luck and shock standing in the main room. Barrel, where have you been? Shocked him out as she saw me walking in. I was pulling a prank on Dr. Finkelstein. So what's going on? What did I miss? I asked as convincingly as I could. Actually, I was just about to tell you three, but thankfully you arrived just in time to hear me explain the final phase of my plan. I plan to betray Dr. Robotnik, steal his technology, and use it to take over his world as well. Oh, gee, explain darkly. That's when I knew I had to help Jack escape fast. We can't allow him to do this. However, I hid my worry really well by laughing deviously. Oh, that's an amazing idea. But what are we going to do about those two hedgehogs? They'll get in your way, no doubt. Shock asked seriously. Easy, I use both mine and Dr. Robotnik's army against those two pests. They'll be completely outnumbered. Oh, you replied confidingly. This was really bad. I couldn't be dismissed soon enough. I thought as I heard him say all of that. Also, who will make sure Jack doesn't escape? Why, who are, who are you doing all that? Block asked skeptically, as he crossed his arms expectantly. You three, of course. How oh, do you think you can manage that? 
Oh, she replied, Be sure, this was just great. I'm gonna talk to Jack if he's two in the room with us. Of course, Mr. Oji, sir. Black replied as he bowed before Oji respectfully. Would I be leaving tomorrow afternoon and you are free to go? Oji said as he waved us off. This was my only chance to help Jack. So when Lock and Shock weren't looking, I snuck away and ran to Jack's cell as fast as I could. Oh, Barrel, you were back. So any news? Jack asked and desperation was clear in his voice. He has plenty, but I'm afraid that none of it is good. Oji wants to conquer the world your family is coincidentally in. He wants to steal robotics technology and use it to take the world over. Also, we we'll need to think of an escape plan at Zap. Mora Oji ordered us to keep an eye on you while I was doing all of that. And so I wouldn't be able to do anything without raising suspicion. I replied sadly, for this was bigger than Oji hinted it in the beginning. No way. He's really going to do that. You're right. I have to get out of here now. Barrel, do you know who casted the spell on my cell door? Jack asked as he was trying to think of a plan quickly. Yes, it was shock. Wait, that's it. Oji gave her a new spell book. I just need to get my hands on it. However, if I don't get it before tomorrow afternoon, I'll go with plan B trick shock into removing the spell. I explained it as a cut on what Jack was thinking. Exactly! Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, you got the book. See, you can find a spell that will Olomito. At the very least, give them a message. Maybe even talk to them, if possible. Jack said as he thought of another brilliant idea. Of course, now I have to go and find a way to get my hands on that spell book. I saved quickly and left the room. Beryl ran to the treehouse first, thinking that the spell book would be hidden there. When he got inside, no one was there, so he began practically turning the place upside down, looking for the spell book. An hour later, he found something. This has to be it. Beryl said to himself as he picked up a book. He started looking through it to make sure it was what he was looking for. Thankfully for him, it was Shock's spell book. As he was reading through it, he looked for the spells that could help Jack. And boy did he find a treasure trove. He knew Jack would be very pleased and relieved. So as quickly as he could, he ran back to Jack's cell with a big smile on his face. Jack, I got it. But it's both a blessing and a curse. Only Shaq can cast these spells. But the amazing news is I found not only the two spells you were hoping for, but also a spell that can open portals, so you can follow Oji and stop him in his tracks, and get your family back home. Beryl explained as reassuringly as he could. No way, really. That's fantastic! Now all we need to do is figure out how to trick Shock into casting them. Jack said out of relief as they both went into thought. 